Hello students, in the previous lecture we discussed Rutherford's nuclear model of atom. Rutherford called his model planetary model that become reason of its failure. Let us start today with drawbacks of Rutherford's model. He proposed that electrons revolve at a high speed in circular orbits around a positively charged nucleus. Now, when a charged particle revolves around, it needs to be accelerated so as to keep it moving in circular orbits. For this, there will be continuous loss of energy that slows down speed of electron and it would ultimately fall into nucleus. So Rutherford could not explain the stability of atom. The stability of atom was explained by Neil Bohr. According to Neil Bohr, electrons revolve around the nucleus in their particular orbits and each orbit has its own radius that is different from each other or one another. Electrons which are in orbits close to the nucleus have low energy whereas those in orbits farther from the nucleus have higher energy as lesser the radius of the orbit lesser will be the energy when electron is revolving in particular orbits it does not lose energy even though it has accelerated motion so electrons do not lose energy they do not fall into nucleus hence remain stable and atom also remain stable now let us discuss Bohr's model of atom. According to Bohr, an atom is made up of three particles, electrons negatively charged, protons positively charged. In a neutral atom, number of electrons is always equal to number of protons. That is why atom is electrically neutral. Now protons and neutrons are located in the nucleus. Because of proton, nucleus is positively charged. Electrons revolve around the nucleus in fixed orbits. We call them energy levels as each orbit has its particular energy. That is why we call them energy levels. These orbits are named by two ways starting from the nucleus 1, 2, 3, 4 or M, N. Now each energy level has fixed amount of energy and electrons revolve around the nucleus with that particular amount of energy only. It neither lose nor gain energy when it is present in its particular shell. Change of energy only takes place when it jumps from outer to inner level. So it loses or radiate energy or inner to outer level it gains energy. Distribution of electron in different shells is according to the formula 2n square where n is the number of shell. So for the first shell k as n is 1 so k can fill 2 electrons. L can fill maximum 8 electrons. M can fill 18 electrons. N can fill 32 electrons and so on. Electrons will fill the inner shells before filling the outer shell. Without completing the shell, it cannot be filled in the next shell. And the last point, maximum capacity to hold electrons in the outermost shell is 8. Having 8 electrons in the outermost shell makes an atom stable. Before doing atomic structure of some elements, let us do 
first some terms first of all let us discuss atomic number now atomic number is number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom because of these protons nucleus is always positively charged in a neutral atom number of proton is always equal to the number of electrons this term is symbolized by z capital z mass number number of total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom is known as mass number the term is represented by capital a these protons and neutrons together also called nucleons how can we represent an atom of an element with its atomic number and mass number suppose the symbol of atom is x its atomic number z is 11 and mass number a is 23 we can represent that element by writing atomic mass or mass number at the top and atomic number at the bottom this is representation of an element valence shell the outermost shell is called as valence shell and the atom and the electrons present in that outermost shell we call them valence electrons now the electrons present in the inner shell we call them core electrons valency now valency is the number of electrons lost gained or shared in the outermost shell or valence shell of an atom students remember during chemical reaction only number of electrons go a change number of protons remain same as they are compactly compactly packed in the nucleus protons can take part only in the nuclear reactions now how to draw atomic structure of an atom of an element for this first of all we should know atomic number then mass number then number of electrons protons and neutrons and then we are going to write then we are going to count the number of shells and then we draw shell accordingly and distribute electrons for example let us and chlorine now sodium has mass number 23 and atomic number 11 5 and atomic number 17 So first of all, let me write the atomic number. So sodium atomic number eleven, mass number twenty three, number of electron eleven, proton eleven. How to find the number of neutrons by subtracting atomic number from mass number? so in case of sodium number of neutron is 12 electronic configuration first shell eight in the next and one in the outermost shell so we need three shells to distribute the electrons let us do this one is nucleus fill proton three shells for sodium
in the first shell in the second shell number of electrons are 8 and in the last shell outermost shell the number of electron is 1 this is atomic structure of sodium same way say chlorine atomic number 17 mass number 35 electron 17 proton 17 and neutrons 18 electronic configuration 8 2 8 7 so it also need three shells first of all nucleus with protons and neutrons then in the first shell we have to fill two electrons in the second eight electrons in the third seven electrons so this is how to make atomic structure of various elements now in the next lecture we will discuss atomic structure of more atoms of elements thank you